Today, back in solo queue, we're going to do what we tried to do yesterday but we couldn't do, and that is to play as Carrie. So let's hope our teammates let us play Carrie today. I don't think this Clint will, but this slot 2 switched me over, so it's either he switched or, well, he switched. And that's good for us because it shows that we might be lucky with the teammates that we got today because they're adjusting. Unlike the enemy team who don't have a tank, it's probably Angela who's gonna be roaming, so he's gonna have to deal with our mummy guy. Now that we are in the game, of course we're going to head over to the gold lane because as a marksman, money is all that matters. And how else can we get the maximum amount of money if we don't clear the wave and then immediately go for Mr. Krabs here, who we successfully got because this Chang'e didn't even bother to try to steal it. Also, I'm wondering where the Mia is. I swore that I saw a Mia getting picked in the enemy team, but I'm dealing with a midget who keeps splashing me with golden showers. Hey, there she is. What the heck? Well, I'm already in trouble because I don't have flicker, so I'm just gonna have to deal with you two fighting back while running away. Or maybe I should just keep running away because that freaking hurts. And we are back and we're dealing with this Chang'e again who throws her flame shot at a full HP me. I wonder why. Is she that mad? And where did that Mia go? Why am I still dealing with a mage instead of a marksman here? I don't even see her anywhere on the map, so she's probably in the jungle somewhere. And in the jungle she is. She's definitely in that bush, so we'll cancel our appointment with Mr. Krabs. Meanwhile, Mia has finally showed herself, and they're now double teaming me here at the top lane, so we're gonna need to be very, very careful. Especially when they have that Chang'e who wastes her ult like it's a normal skill. I mean, I'd probably do the same, use everything in my arsenal so that I can gain an advantage. Or maybe just annoy my enemies by peeing all over the place whenever I can with my ult. On the other hand, I haven't seen Mia, so maybe this is a good time to go around this Chang, uh, because we gotta do something, right? We gotta do, uh, we gotta make something happen. This cannot be uh, ending in a stalemate. We gotta get an advantage and we can do that by... Oh crap, that's Mia, isn't it? Never mind, I have my ult. I can take them both. If uh, only this Chang'e would stop blinding me by pissing all over the place, then uh, maybe we could have won. Or maybe not, because that's uh, Mia, the god of auto attacks. But that is fine, because now we are back and it looks like Mia and Chang'e are nowhere to be found. Well, at least they're not here at the top lane, so we can maybe get this tower now. And we're going to use our ult just to make sure that we do, because I want to be somewhere else. I don't want to spend the rest of this uh, recording by staying here in the top lane. Or maybe I don't have a choice, because Mia and Chang'e are here again to make my life very miserable, and I still don't have help from our teammates. That's why the better course of action right now is to give up what we're defending and just run away towards back to the base. But it looks like our bottom lane is doing pretty good. I don't see any more outer towers there now, so uh, I'm just gonna go around and maybe take a few more towers down before the enemies can get us. And Zilong, would you mind not poking my booty or bullying me? I've been through so much enough at the top lane. I don't even feel like I've contributed anything in this game. It's a good thing that Ricky says it's okay. Because marksmen really don't shine in the early game. If a uh, marksman shines in the early game, then uh, nerf that marksman because that's BS. Real marksmen farm in the early game and when the time comes to hunt some uh, twilight vampires, then it should be a very easy task. There we go, we took down Chang'e, giving her a break from ulting us every chance she gets. Are we really doing this, Lord? Our jungler's dead. Okay, he's alive now, he's Gushin, but he's still at the base. You know what? We're just gonna go for it. And by go for it, I mean we're gonna go for that Zilong. Okay, he's going around and he's the jungler, right? So there's no way that our plan would have worked. Even when Gushin got there in time, we still didn't get it. And also Mia has Wind of Nature now, I see. I gotta get myself one of those. But that is fine, we got enemies here, but our teammates are here as well. Well, Zilong, I don't think you can hit me while you're in Molina form, but this Mia is seriously broken. Where's our tank, by the way? 
You know what? That's okay. You kill me twice because you have Wind of Nature. That's fine. But I have Wind of Nature too now. And um, all right. Nice team fight, guys. Okay, I might have to use my Wind of Nature now because that Zilong would have instantly bursted me down. And Mia is here, guys. Please just hold her down for like two seconds while I contact Moonton to just delete her or nerf her properly. Just kidding. Of course, we can take care of Mia. All we gotta do is sacrifice our entire team. Use them as meat shields until they die while we free hit on her and still barely survive that encounter. And since they're wiped out, there's only one sensible thing to do and that is to struggle in clearing the minions and uh, run away because they're almost all alive now. So I don't like where this is going. This has definitely happened in the past. It feels like a deja vu. So we better be careful and secure our victory by securing this lord that we easily secured without enemy trying to steal it. Hmm, very fishy. Okay guys, I got the red buff. I am ready to fight. And also, um, our top lane doesn't have any minions in it. Wait, where is Mia? I knew it, just like every Mia ever. In the late game, they're gonna try to push, so fight me! Why did I activate my Wind of Nature? It's a good thing that she retreated. Oh my god. This is not good, guys. This is not good. Alright, it's a good thing that uh, the minions are pushed out. And it looks like our teammates are able to hold out on their own. They're actually pushing the lanes out towards the enemy, so that's pretty good. And we're gonna be able to get this red as well. And also this Zilong, who's probably just trying to bait me and flip me towards the tower. So we're just gonna focus on this tower for now. And we're gonna switch over to the bot lane because that's where our minions are. So this is gonna be pretty easy. All we gotta do is target this tower and voila! Another tower destroyed. All they have now is the top lane tower and Mia is showing a great display of player skills by standing in one spot and spamming auto attack. I could never play Mia. It requires uh, very fast hands. In the meantime, we're gonna go for the Lord. I saw Zilong around here, but there's three of us here, right? I mean, he's definitely not gonna steal it, especially when we got it. And now that we have the Lord marching towards the mid lane, all we gotta do is escort it to end the game. But it looks like Gushan is up to something in the top lane, and that is to uh, ambush Mia and die immediately. It's a good thing that I'm here. I can deal with Mia now with my Wind of Nature. And our teammates were able to stop the enemies from backing up Mia and Angela. Meanwhile, this Zilong is running towards me. Oh crap, I, didn't, I did not think of that. I did not think that he would do that, to be honest. Kill him, bro. Nice. If there's a guy that you can always rely, it's the mummy guy. And we're back. And Mia is in the top lane, says our Kufra. Let me just get our red and I'm gonna head straight over there because if I don't, I'm afraid that our entire team is gonna get wiped out. Like what's happening right now where Gushin dives Mia again and Mia just shakes her booty once and he dies. And if we don't get there in time, our Kuvra is gonna die as well. It's a good thing that I'm here now and I have my immunity against basic attacks and also Angela at this point is only an insect who keeps riding Mia. Oh crap, we forgot about the Zilong at the bot lane. Oh no, someone get there. Oh crap! Exborg, Exborg, you gotta do it. I can't, I can't get back in time. I can't, I can't. This Chang uh, is uh, taking revenge from... Oh, crap. Wow, I did not expect that at all. Actually, I did. For the entire game, I haven't been seeing a lot of map awareness from our team, including me, and also split pushing and stuff. So this defeat is uh, definitely deserved. At least we got to play carry, but uh, at what cost? But yeah, I hope it was still fun to watch this game, especially with a lot of twists happening. And good job to our teammates who tried and the enemies who uh, outsmarted us. Shut up Mia, I'm not mad, you're mad. So again, my name is Shin Mentagazo. Thank you so much for watching this video. Check out the previous ones for the many and different heroes we played in the past. Hit like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more of these in the future. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.